if you're in a heterosexual relationship, ain't nothing to put a dick up there. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. Yo, what's up? Today I have my colleague, friend, wifey, lesbian lover, Anjali Aria, to star in this video. So today we're gonna talk about small boobs versus big boobs, all the pros and the cons, and all that galore. <laughs> Bras. So I wore a training bra up until high school. I mean, I probably still could wear a training bra if I wanted. Padding is a girl's best friend when it comes to flat chested girls. In high Not school, I know some girls that wore double bras. I used to stuff them with paper towels, <laughs> socks, you know, anything I could stuff in there, I did. Yeah, with big boobs, you don't really have that problem. Anytime you go bra shopping, it's literally the bane of your existence because the moment you walk in the store, you're just like, oh great, I see 50 shades of lacy beige that I can add to my already collection of lacy beige. And string bikinis, nah. -uh. If you gotta worry about nip slips every five seconds, that's a no-go. String bikinis on big boobs is like slow beheading because that little string right here constantly just goes like this on your neck. You know, I have the same problem because I'm always trying to make sure that my string bikini doesn't just float off in the water. <laughs> Cleavage, or lack thereof. You pretty much spend all day doing anything and everything to make yourself look like you have cleavage. So bronzer, saran wrap, duct tape. Saran wrap? It's not suffocating. Suffocating. Honestly, ladies, cleavage on big boobs is too existent. You can't bend down. Um, although, hiding stuff in your cleavage seems to be the prominent way of not having to carry your wallet to the club. So, hide your money on this one, hide your phone on this one, hide some vodka on this one. You're lucky. Yeah. Basically, this is your carry-on wallet. That's why I buy everything in pockets. Smart. Clothing. So, there's a lot of clothes that itty bitty clubbers gotta avoid. V-necks, tube tops, anything strapless, backless, low cut, one shoulder, spaghetti strap. Yeah, it's all a no for you big boob ladies out there. Even small boobs though, like strapless, I spent all day trying to avoid an accident because that shit's just gonna fall off. Anything fitted, really, you're just like waiting for the buttons to pop out and hit somebody in the eye. Workplace violence or a workplace hazard. Sexual activities. You know this is your favorite part. Like people can't do this on my boobs. Or if you're in a heterosexual relationship, ain't nothing to put a dick up there. <laughs> Ladies with big boobs. <laughs> Two words. Boob hypnosis. <laughs> Literally, this can control everything. Yeah. There's endless possibilities. I don't have that. And I should work on that. Ain't nobody motorboating up in here. They'd be motorboating on blank. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Most of the time when I'm watching Netflix, I get all crumbs that goes on my chest, but that falls straight down to my belly button because there ain't nothing there supporting. See, the great part for us is that when crumbs do fall down, at least you have a snack for later, except when it's chocolate because that's just gonna melt and if you're wearing like a light shirt, it's not a good thing to have. Yeah, but that could be the beginning of some really intense work life. True. Or if you want to have strawberries and fondue later. I mean, I'm just so trying. Let me start off on this. Yeah, because I don't really get that. Okay, ladies with big boobs, tell me that I'm not the only one that has a lot of back pain or can't lie down with their face down on their beds because let's say we want to go for a massage, like we better hope that this masseuse has two little holes cut out for our boobs because otherwise it's not happening. What about lying on your back? Like when yeah. I lie on my back, my boobs just disappear. No, when I lie on my back, it's just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the departed literally happened down your body. I mean, there's really no exercise I can't do. Jumping, running, you know, in terms of trying to get bigger boobs, you're supposed to do a lot of chest exercises. I don't really see that working. Ladies, that's what we call privilege right there. <laughs> running, as much as I love to do it, it's just unless you want a black eye, you have to be really careful with how fast and how hard you run. I love that scene in Baywatch. I mean, that's nice to see. That is also slow-mo. Oh, Did you get a boob sweat? Because the only sweat I get goes straight oh, yeah. down, literally, to it. it like milks my belly button yeah. in water. So you know how girls with little boobs stuff their boobs with like paper towel and toilet paper to make them look bigger? No, yeah. ours is just to like make sure that we're not sweating <laughs> through our shirts. Pregnancy is a whole new threat. I mean, we both don't want to get pregnant, but I guess the only plus side of being pregnant are the bigger boobs. But like, just imagine the horror that you're already big enough as it can get but pregnancy is gonna make you even bigger. Do you really wanna get any bigger? No, you don't. 
And when your boobs would be up here, so it'd be kind of like a good chin rest for when you're watching movies or TV. All right, ladies or gentlemen, whether you have small boobs or big boobs, doesn't really matter. There's pros and cons to both. I, at the end of the day, love my boobs. And I love Anja's boobs. I'm sure she loves her own boobs. I may love her boobs a little more than my boobs these <laughs> days. <laughs> but love your body. You know, Haley Seinfeld song, Love Myself. Yeah. Even though it's like a masturbation song, whatever. It's okay, close enough. Honestly, the grass is always greener on the other side. The grass is always greener. But you just gotta make do with what you got and you gotta own and strut yourself. Okay, bye. I remember when I was growing up, there were certain foods that were supposed to make your boobs bigger and then you'd hear these miracle stories of how a girl went from a double A cup to a C cup in two years. What magazine were you reading? Any kind of bikini that tells you that they provide support and they look good, that's a false myth. No, that's not true. Mm -mm. That was a double negative. False myth. <laughs> Sometimes it just chokes me. I mean, if that's a fantasy, I'm not. I'm not stopping. I, mean, I ain't denying that. So. Just. <laughs> <laughs>